Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we are again in the studios of Allama Iqbal Open University and we are working on AIOU history writing project. We have today a guest in the studios, Professor Dr. Nagmana Rashid Sahiba. She is renowned uh, scientist of the country and serving here in Allama Iqbal University as professor and chair of the chemistry department. Ma'am, welcome to the studios. Thank you. Ma'am, first of all, uh, I would like to know about your uh, early education and your professional alleviation, something like that. Okay, uh, I have uh, done my, uh, let's, uh, let me start from uh, school uh, yeah, education. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, I have uh, done my matriculation from comprehensive school Bahawalpur. Right. Yes. Then uh, uh, got my FSc from the Government College Bahawalpur, uh, BSc from the FD College Karyan Kent. Right. And uh, MSc MPhil from Kaide Azam University. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, uh, I got uh, Day R Day scholarship, which is a German uh, scholarship for research uh, uh, in my PhD. So uh, I got uh, uh, research and uh, a thesis from the Rohr University, Bochum, uh, Germany. Then I got the chance to do the postdoctorate from USA, Iowa State University, USA. So I did my three years postdoc studies over there. After that, uh, I came back to Pakistan, joined uh, uh, FT postgraduate college, Wakent. Right. Because I uh, my husband was stationed over there, and uh, then uh, in 2001, I joined Allama Iqbal Open University as assistant professor. Right. So, ma'am, uh, you have, uh, mashallah, exposure of uh, technologically advanced countries also, and your early education is from Pakistan, and you have also experience of face-to-face uh, -face education. So what do you feel the difference between face-to-face -face education system and this distance education system? Would you throw some light on it? Uh, the basic uh, uh, difference, what I feel is that the role of teacher uh, is to educate the student and to motivate the student also. Yeah. Uh, in distance learning, I think uh, teachers can educate the students, but I think we should make extra effort for the other component, which is to make or act as a role model for the students, motivate the students, and encourage them to adopt some uh, positive part, uh, uh, positive direction in their lives. So that uh, portion, to some extent, is compromised. Uh, but I think that uh, our university is uh, uh, doing a lot to actually uh, uh, overcome this thing and we are using like uh, uh, latest technology uh, to be in touch our students and to motivate them uh, for example through video conferencing yeah. and uh, yeah. things like that so ma'am uh, i would also like to ask you that uh, tell us something about uh, the history of the department when the chemistry department emerged and how it started uh, working on different uh, level of courses and what sort of courses department is offering at present? Uh, I joined this uh, department uh, in April 2001. Yeah. At that time, department was offering just the FSC program and uh, coordinating some metric level courses. In 2003, like after uh, when I joined uh, some of uh, other colleagues uh, of mine also joined in the same year. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to mention uh, the chairman at that uh, time. He was uh, Professor Dr. Kalim Tahir. And uh, then uh, uh, we, we were like three, and Dr. Uzma Yunus. Mm -hmm. uh, three of us joined in 2001. Mm -hmm. We right away we started developing uh, courses for MSE and uh, MPhil programs. We managed to uh, launch uh, MSc in 2003 mm -hmm. and uh, MPhil also. Uh, because actually uh, 
chemistry is a research based or experiment based uh, uh, subject. So we had to develop the uh, uh, laboratories before launching the program. Of course. So uh, uh, we took some time and we developed laboratories uh, um, in already existing buildings uh, at the, uh, to begin with and then we launched uh, MSc and MPhil programs. Uh, in 2005, we launched our PhD program mm -hmm. in chemistry and then uh, department uh, also launched BS four-year program. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now, uh, like uh, uh, we have uh, uh, PhD, MPhil, MSc, BS four years and we are also coordinating uh, FSc chemistry courses and uh, science courses at metric level. In 2007, we managed to actually I'm uh, I'll appreciate uh, the uh, efforts of the vice chancellors uh, in all those years and also uh, science faculty deans uh, because uh, we managed to uh, develop a um, team based laboratories right. and we had uh, like uh, we established uh, a research complex in the university mm -hmm. uh, which uh, occupies like uh, we have uh, about 15 uh, in the department of chemistry 15 laboratories and we have teaching labs we and we have research labs and uh, they are all well equipped labs Marshall. so uh, i'm happy uh, to tell you that uh, our department, uh, though uh, uh, the, we uh, we are just we have uh, in just started uh, these things, but uh, our department manages to publish the research work being done by our students mm -hmm. uh, in reputed uh, uh, research in uh, uh, journals of right. international reputed journals. So we have uh, like. Uh, uh, almost 30 publication each year. Mashallah, mashallah. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, tell us that uh, our FSC program, let's we start uh, with FSC program. Yeah. So FSC program is for uh, whole country or just big cities because uh, lab is also required or yeah. something like that. So tell us about uh, the yeah, outreach of FSC program in chemistry. Actually, uh, the basic emphasis uh, of our department is quality education. Mm -hmm. To maintain the quality, we restricted it to uh, big cities only. Okay, okay. Uh, though uh, in the beginning, department offered these programs in uh, uh, different areas, but we noticed that uh, it's uh, really hard to maintain the quality mm -hmm. uh, because uh, those areas l lacked actually the lab facility. facilities and moreover uh, the experts because the mode of teaching in our university is such that we have regional campuses and yes, uh, yes, uh, there we hired the local people uh, yes, as part-time tutors uh, yeah as part-time tutors so I thought uh, because uh, relatively uh, chemistry is a new department mm -hmm. uh, uh, because uh, it's not uh, uh, the time uh, like we just started in 2003. So uh, the main focus is uh, to give the quality education. Right. And I'm very hopeful that uh, uh, in coming years, Mm -hmm. we will expand to the uh, regions by taking the quality education to each nook and corner of our country. We'll do that. We have that, uh, uh, like we are future working plan, on, yes. yeah, well, it is our future plan. But uh, uh, we're just taking, uh, like uh, we are moving forward step by step. Okay, so, so we are having FSE programs in how many uh, big cities? Just uh, Islamabad? Uh, yeah, just, just uh, Islamabad, yeah. right. And what about ma'am BS program? Yeah, uh, at moment all our programs are, are being offered uh, just only at, at uh, Islamabad, Islamabad main campus. Main right. campus. Uh, the way that we are facilitating uh, students the, here, the students, it is not uh, uh, yeah, no. But what we are doing is we are uh, uh, actually uh, the we are offering these programs in the evening uh, time, mm -hmm. uh, five to eight. Like we have classes uh, in evening 
to facilitate the people who are working. Yes, yeah. uh, the, the main idea behind this uh, yeah. university yeah. that people, those who have not chance to become regular student uh, at regular timings, yeah. so that is over there to give them access. Access uh, to, to the education. Yes, of course. So ma'am, uh, tell us more about that uh, our laboratories here, as you mentioned, 15 laboratories in the chemistry department. So they are com uh, compatible to any university of Pakistan? Yeah, definitely. They are second to none, even better than many other universities. Mm -hmm. Like uh, uh, the uh, uh, scientists uh, all over Pakistan, we have, we have actually uh, uh, coordination with many research organizations and other universities and they do visit us and they are really impressed by looking at our uh, uh, laboratories Facilities, and uh, uh, actually uh, the scientific work cannot you cannot hide what you are doing yes, once you publish your work mm -hmm. everybody has to then look at like yes, you are doing something yes, so they acknowledge this thing and they are really uh, appreciative of the uh, standard of the research work that we are doing i would like to mention that we have international uh, uh, collaborations also and uh, recently we signed an MOU with the University of Rostock, Germany. And uh, accord, uh, under this uh, MOU, uh, our students have a chance to do a part of their research in the Germany. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of our students have already uh, availed this. Each year, uh, uh, two to three students, they go to okay. University of Rostock okay. and spend their time over there and do the research work. And one of our MPhil student got a full scholarship uh, to do his uh, PhD studies in the University of Rostock, German, German scholarship. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and many of our graduates uh, are uh, getting good jobs, being hired by the reputed department uh, organizations of the country, and they are performing well. And uh, we get very positive feedback from uh, those organizations. Yeah, sure. So, uh, all these are actually uh, inspire us uh, to do more. To, to do more. Yeah. Ma'am, one thing more, as you mentioned that you have a collaboration a linkage uh, with the uh, German University. So we have also some linkages with the Pakistani other universities because yeah. if uh, you wanted to expand to other cities, so uh, we can avail the opportunity and facilities of other universities like Punjab University yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, Kishar yeah. University and Karachi University. So yeah. you have plan or you are working on that already? Yeah, we are working on uh, that. Actually, uh, we do have very uh, good uh, uh, working, working relationships, relationships mm -hmm. with uh, uh, all the public sector and also the private sector universities. Mm -hmm. Uh, in our department, uh, we uh, we have uh, visiting uh, teachers also. Or some of our uh, faculty members are visiting, and they are from other organizations. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are also like we have some projects in which, uh, like uh, they are uh, as uh, we're taking them as co-supervisors. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, uh, that's how we are. Uh, uh, in link with other mm. scientists of the uh, our country and we are planning to actually launch uh, uh, these uh, programs uh, to start with some uh, like uh, uh, let me share with you that uh, sure. uh, we have uh, first uh, the, uh, uh, first of all we would like to launch the BS four year program in some uh, remote area mm -hmm. in right. some remote area right. And, to uh, start with. To start with. And uh, uh, the module that uh, how we'll operate is that uh, we'll do the uh, coursework through video conferencing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And for the research work and the practical components, mm -hmm. all the laboratories, the students, they have to come in the main campus. Mm -hmm. They'll, uh, of course, uh, we have hostels where yes, they uh, can course. be accommodated. And then they'll do the uh, all the experimental part uh, over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, during that, uh, those workshops uh, of uh, lab work, they have the opportunity to be in contact with all the faculty members and resolve any issue related to their theory course, if uh, mm -hmm. th there is any thing yeah, that they yeah. can be more clear. So, I, so uh, uh, that's how we are planning to uh, offer this BS4-year yes. program. And I'm 
pretty hopeful that uh, we'll not compromise on the quality of the education mm -hmm. because that is the main focus uh, uh, yes, of the, uh, be, uh, yeah, our department. Okay. So I hope that by maintaining the quality, we will uh, reach to the uh, uh, less privileged areas of our country. So ma'am, how many batches of uh, master's program, they are already passed out and they are in the market? Yeah, uh, like uh, in 2005, our first batch uh, okay, passed out. So okay, uh, from uh, yeah, regularly, regularly, yeah, and contributing uh, now yeah. in different laboratories and yes. institutions. Uh, yes, and uh, this year our first BS chemistry batch will pass out. Mashallah, yeah, mashallah. Uh, it's a four-year program. So uh, this year the first BS chemistry uh, batch will uh, and uh, pass out, and many. And uh, another thing is that. Uh, this uh, year, uh, last month, uh, our first PhD student has been awarded uh, PhD. Mm, Congrat first PhD. Congratulations. Mm, thank you. And uh, we have uh, uh, Viva Voce examination of the second uh, PhD student uh, Shortly. This, uh, uh, this month. Okay. Uh, yeah. And what about AMPHIL? Uh, yeah, program? many badges. Many badges, uh, many badges uh, uh, have already been and they are doing very good. Uh, so the feedback that we get from the, the different uh, research organizations and the different universities and the colleges where they are serving is so positive that uh, we are really uh, happy that uh, the students, they are working hard and uh, they are creating a good impression of uh, our university and department and also they are contributing uh, in a positive way towards the society. Mashallah. Now, ma'am, tell us uh, about uh, overall facilities at campus uh, we are having as we have uh, uh, this, our uh, computers and uh, as we are sitting in a studio and this facility, yeah. m you visit a lot of universities uh, in the country and outside country. So say something about that facilities we are having, mashallah, and we are independent on a lot of things and uh, this can be very uh, beneficial for our uh, upcoming students as well as uh, current students. Yeah, actually uh, being uh, uh, here at AIOU is such an amazing experience for me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very unique university. Of course. It yeah, is. it's a very unique and uh, the skies are the limit. Uh, I always think that I'm not doing enough mm -hmm. what I can do uh, while uh, serving at AIOU mm -hmm. because uh, AIOU has, uh, its name is Open University, it's really open, open in many sense. Uh, we are open like we can do anything. Yes, of course. Yeah, uh, if I want to teach, for example, some school level chemistry or college level and or uh, I want to serve in rural area or I want, I can do anything. Mm -hmm. So th it's so amazing yes, uh, course, and uh, I feel so proud to be a part of this uh, uh, University. Uh, we have lots of facilities like um, I always wish I can do more because uh, when I joined this university and I saw the studios and all the facilities over here, uh, we, we actually I, I got myself engaged and I, uh, we produced uh, um, videos on spectroscopic techniques. It's an important uh, area of chemistry mm -hmm. and uh, by using the spectroscope pick ma uh, methods, we identify the uh, chemical structure of the compounds that mm -hmm. uh, what they are made of. So uh, the idea was like uh, we make the CDs mm -hmm. and we provide those CDs to the areas uh, to uh, where they don't have these instruments mm -hmm. so that they know the, how the instrument look like, yes, of how course. it operates. So uh, here we have like uh, we can do anything. So we, we made those with, uh, um, CDs and uh, those CDs are we provide them along with the book to our students. Though our programs are face to face, mm -hmm. but still we utilize the facilities that are here for the distance learning. Yes, so, so you uh, blend the yeah. both yeah. the opportunities and possibilities. Yeah. So ma'am, what do you think that, uh, uh, what are the future challenges for AIOU, particularly in your own discipline? Uh, for uh, Generally for AIOU, I think the big challenge is 
uh, to maintain the quality of our programs. Uh, because it is understandable that uh, uh, AIOU is offering program in each nook and corner of country. country. E even beyond country. Even beyond country. And it's really hard to maintain the standard. Yes, of course. And moreover, actually, we are open. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody can see us. Mm -hmm. And if we are doing good, people will appreciate. And if there is something wrong, that is also, that will be very obvious. So uh, that's why we should be even more vigilant. And uh, sh uh, I'm, uh, I'm very happy that actually our university is taking a lot of steps to do uh, to maintain the standard mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we should pursue even harder in mm -hmm. this direction okay because okay. Uh, uh, once uh, uh, we and uh, though it is our uh, priority right now uh, one can see that but we should not leave it we should always struggle to make our programs uh, uh, very, uh, one can say that uh, very purposeful mm -hmm. and uh, of high standard. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is, I think, the biggest challenge that uh, I feel uh, AIOU has uh, at its hand because of its uh, uh, structure. Yes, uh, of, because, because of it is a uh, only mega university yeah, of the country. Of the so country. Um, if uh, we can just. Uh, I compare with the students of universities uh, of Pakistan and just only Islamic University, it is compatible in uh, quality, not yeah. uh, quantity. Mm. So we have to maintain quality and yeah. we have to uh, try to see what our challenges would be uh, in future. Uh, we are preparing for uh, to actually, to with uh, I, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Actually, we should not. Uh, 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 compare that uh, will uh, uh, actually uh, uh, about the standard we should